Now we're going to move to the opposite end of the choral color spectrum, to the music of ethnic music, of Mantiyarvi, of shape note tradition, and overtone singing. This calls for us to incorporate more chest voice resonance in our singing. And of course, that is one concept that sometimes we uh, neglect or we hesitate to use. But it's a very functional part of the vocal instrument. And it's something that we have to learn to use very cautiously. When you're singing in the chest voice, your instrument is in a different adjustment. It's like driving a car. In chest voice, it's like it's in first and second gear. When you move to head voice, it's like you shift up to the higher gears. Physically, physiologically, your instrument is in this kind of an adjustment in chest voice. The thyroarytenoid muscles have, uh, are, are active and they are contracting the vocal bands so that they are thicker they're shorter, there is more muscle mass moving. So the higher you sing, the faster your vocal bands come together. And if you push the chest voice too high, it's very hard on the instrument. So belters really need to learn how to support and keep the freedom of production as they move the chest voice into their higher range. When we sing in head voice, there is a different adjustment of the larynx. The cricothyroid muscle has lengthened the vocal bands so that they're very thin. It's just the inner edges are vibrating. Therefore, it's much easier to sing up into your high range because there's less mass that's moving. And it's a healthier production. But the music in the choral world sometimes asks us to use a brighter sound and more chest voice resonance. So we'll demonstrate a few ways to capture that in a healthy manner. First of all, you can simply whine like a little puppy. You use the tongue vowels, not the lip vowels, such as and it's only the tongue that's moving. Or you can do nya 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 nya. Nya 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 nya. Yellow 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 yellow. Yellow 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 yellow. V v v v v. V v v v v. Z z z. Z z z. So we're bringing the sound into the mask, so to speak, into the front part of the face. Um. We have sung some works by Manti Yarvi in the last number of years, Sudo Yoik and El Hambo, that, that ask us to do a little bit of a brighter sound, which we incorporated these kinds of techniques. And the music of the shape note tradition from Kentucky Harmony from the uh, 1800s in the United States or the 17, late 1700s, uh, they use this really raucous shape note, um, bright tonal color as they sang. And it's very rewarding, but you don't want to spend a lot of your rehearsal on that particular style in any given day. You want to vary it because it is more vocally demanding. The piece we'll demonstrate for you in the chess voice is, comes from the overtone singing tradition from Australia by Sarah Hopkins. And she has some melodies that she says kept recurring in her head like they were from a former life. Therefore, she wrote them down and she incorporated into this fascinating piece of music uh, where we, we hum first in our chest voice. She says, make it sound like a beehive. When we go to the second phrase, she says, make it sound like heart sound. So we'll demonstrate the first two sections of past life melodies using this bright ethnic sound in our voice. Hands on your chest. Mm -hmm. 